Thanks for joining us for part two of framing up this uh, tank. Now this is going to be connected to the solar hot water and it's going to help us reduce our energy bills. If you like these videos, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Thanks. As you can see, we're down in the crawl space again, and this is the basic layout of where the tank's going to go. I've removed all those baseboards and the old tank that used to be here, and this is where the plumbing goes up to the solar panel, and back here is where the plumbing comes down from the solar panel. So neither of those are blocked by the tank. Now I'm gonna level out the corners. Now a lot of what I'm doing right at the moment is just temporary. Well, we got the frame shimmed so it's level and we checked it on the diagonals and it's square. So now I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna mark the floor with a Sharpie uh, and that's where I'm gonna cut this OSB out. check it out this is where the tank's gonna go uh, we removed the OSB on the floor because it would have acted like a thermal bridge conducting the heat outward uh, and also because the edges of the OSB that's remaining on the floor is now going to act like a little bit more of a barricade kind of making it rigid on the bottom plywood that we'll be building for the walls uh, so this is great tanks gonna go right here cool all right, so now we're uh, ready to glue and screw this. So I just have regular construction adhesive. And I'll put this on here. All right, we got construct construction adhesive on both sides. So now I'll clean up the squeeze out, and I'm just using a one and a half inch staple for this. I don't think it really matters too much uh, what fastener you use. I just, I have these uh, for, they're one and a half inch, so they're not gonna go through. They're quick because they're pneumatic. But, you know, if you wanna screw it together, you can. Um, but the glue is gonna do the job. All right, we got the log cabin built. <laughs> so um, that went pretty quick. Finally got all the pieces of plywood cut for the walls. Now the floor is not level, but I wanted the tops all to be level. Cut them at an angle on the bottom so that the top edge will all be level. And then I'm filling in the other gaps that are left right here with smaller pieces of scrap that I had. Okay, try lifting. Hey, we got all the ribs fastened and uh, all the plywood in place. So the frame of the tank is complete. Next step will be insulating the tank and then installing rubber liner. So stay tuned for those videos.